I've been trying to decide what the best racing sim is for a long, long time. Games like Assetto Corsa, Forza Motorsport 7, and BeamNG. Oh! I'm joking on that one, don't take that seriously. Have all been contenders for the most realistic sim racer available on the market. But what if I told you there was an underground sim racer more realistic, with better graphics, physics, more vehicles, customization options. It's so realistic that it's almost indifferentable from real life. That game is Turbo Kart Racers. Despite being significantly more fun and realistic to play than the next best sim racer of all time, Mario Kart, Turbo Kart Racers has a dwindling player base. This can make getting the opportunity to play this masterpiece significantly more difficult. Queue times can get up to 15 minutes, a nearly unimaginable length of time. Despite this, there's an underground community of high-octane gamers that log in on a daily basis and compete with one another to show who's the, truly the greatest driver in the world. That is where we introduce me, Despite the fact that this was the most realistic sim racer of all time, nobody, nobody had thought to attempt to play it using a steering wheel. Why this is is beyond me. It controlled beautifully. There was absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, I would almost argue that it was an unfair advantage. Armed with my USB steering wheel and an unhealthy amount of free time, I set out to become the greatest turbo kart racer in the world. Due to the extreme system requirements needed to run this game, plugging anything but a keyboard and mouse into play results in oddities that a gamer would not see otherwise. Despite these hurdles, I made it my mission to overcome them and fully utilize the power of a USB steering wheel. It wasn't long before I was on top of the podium. Despite having come third place, my journey was far from over. The best turbo kart races in the world were online at the time, and they were trash talking in the chat. Needless to say, they had the skills to back up their claims. It seemed as if all hope was lost. Not even the majestic power of a USB steering wheel could carry a brand new turbo kart racer to the glory of the victory podium. Devoid of hope and with little chance of victory, I joined another match, hoping that I would manage to find players that I could stand a chance against. Much to my chagrin, I found that experienced players were already in the lobby. Yeah, so it turns out they sucked. These guys had pretty much just joined to screw around and try to keep us from winning um, by throwing items at us about halfway through the race. So, um, yeah. Needless to say, this was my chance. Despite the fact that three of the racers in our lobby had only joined to fool around and ruin our play experience. There was another man. He was the only one crazy enough to wait in the excruciatingly long 15 minute queue. His name was Kyle.
Was it worth it? Does any of it even matter? Oh, 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 oh,